Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Maggie Skira. We are at the Tech Museum of Innovation in downtown San Jose, celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. So please come and enjoy all of the hands-on, interactive, wonderful exhibits, and you'll learn things you never thought you didn't know. <laughs> I think. Uh, please join me in welcoming our guests for the next few moments who will help keep me sane, Andrea Fabrega and Diane Levinson. And they are here today to talk about their artwork and also about the 17th annual Palo Alto Clay and Glass Festival. I wanted to make sure I got all of the information in. Andrea, yes. first of all, talk about you know what your yes, specialties yes. are yes. and give us a, a little sample. Okay, sure. I make miniature pots and these are made on a full-size potter's wheel and I I, my fingers are too big, so I use tools to control them. And careful, every, everything. <laughs> I um, lids come off. Actually, on this one, it's very tight. And they're all signed and trimmed, like the big pots. Um, I even make this is probably one of my tiniest tea sets right here. Oh, for and it. lids are removable, and you can pour them. Um, I just I love to experiment with clay, with um, uh, blazes. Um, I, I have a fascination with uh, medieval history, so I made a series of knights. But I like to start with the vessel. This is actually a thrown mm -hmm. form, and then I'm sculpting it from the inside and the outside. I'm using tools to get in there, you know, poke out the nose, poke in the eyes, and um, I just have fun. Wow. I mean, every pot I make is different. I've made thousands of pots. I've sold them around the world. And so I, I'm just very proud to be a part of this show. I've been doing it since, since it started in uh, 90, 93. 93. 93. And I've done it every year, but the year that I birthed my son, five days before the show, but I still came because, I mean, I had to see everything. You were in the mood to throw a pot. Absolutely. I mean, I would say if anybody is remotely interested in clay, glass, mm -hmm. color, or art, you should come because it's free and you can just wander around and just get a real idea of what's going on in the Bay Area. All right, so Diane, give us a taste of uh, what, uh, what your work is. Um, well, I'm a little schizophrenic, it seems, no. <laughs> in that I've got the low fire colored pencils, and I'm just the opposite. I beef everything up and make it a little bigger than, mm -hmm. it, than it normally is. And then I've got the wood fired oh ceramic gosh. baskets, They're which all I throw so and wonderful. alter. So I also use the potter's wheel, but in and a much Diane, different way. And Diane, if I may, if I may ask you, did you self chew this eraser? Or was <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do, because there are some nervous people out there. Hold and that some, so they some can of see the it. pencils are, have uh, I would bite relate marks and are chewed. I would relate to that. That's so, there you go. Ner beautiful. Nervous pencil yeah. users. Beautiful work. Well, both of your work is extraordinary, and I've seen some of the other artists' work, so the, the, the caliber of what people will, will see is ex extremely high. And this the, is just a small sampling. There are 175 episode, yeah. artists. Yeah. 175 all artists. Clay, all clay and glass. We'll mention the dates a couple of times, July 11th and 12th. It's a weekend, so Saturday and Sunday. Absolutely. And uh, I understand that the, everybody's artwork is for sale. It is for yes. sale. Yes. can be purchased. But there are also hands-on demonstrations. Mm -hmm. There is clay play for the kids and it's just a, it's a great event. Right. Wonderful. We're we calling it Clay for uh, All, right? It's yes. clay, clay, clay Play for Time. All. We're very proud to be a part of this show and to have grown with it. Yeah. So, but uh, I think a lot of people will be saying, oh, "I would really love to go to that, but if I bring my children, or is, is it hands off, and they actually have a, a place Absolutely. to go?" <laughs> There's a place that you can sit down, play with clay, and uh, we'll clean it up for you. Well, I don't think it gets much much it better than that. <laughs> as, as one or both of you mentioned, the the festival is free. Yes. To the public and uh, free parking too. And free parking. Mm -hmm. Even right. valet so, parking. Yeah. Oh, so, well, we should mention where it's going to be held. It's uh, the Palo Alto Arts Center. Yes, it's 1313 Newell Avenue at Newell and Embarcadero. Newell and Embarcadero. So everybody knows where that is. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, it'll be a, a great time. Oh, do you know what the times are offhand? It is 10 to 5. 10 yeah. to 5. Lots of opportunity. And people will be able to meet with you and converse yes. with you. All the place. artists are in sight, and that's yes. something that makes it especially fun. Yeah. All right. Well, ladies, thank you both. Yeah. I wish you great success with your festival. It sounds like a lot of fun. We may be cruising by to visit with you. Then. I really do. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much. Thanks, Thanks so much. That's thank it you. for now on Comcast Newsmakers. We'll be back with more in just a little while.